What's up, guys? Welcome back. We got more loadouts for you guys for more Genos, Apples, Dubs. You guys know the drill. Follow me on Twitch, sub to me on YouTube, like this video if you're digging what we are doing. So send this video to the best player on your team and the worst player on your team. And don't tell them who's who. So this is a part two. I'm not going to cover every class like I did in the previous video. So if you're looking for a different kind of class you don't see in this one, go check that one. Also in this one, I rescind something I said back then. One, if you're looking for that 5-7 dangler sniper build, I'm not your guy. What an idiot. Turns out you play well enough, it works. So you should still trust me on everything else I said in that video. So the same as last time. Why should anyone value my opinion? Well... So in clubs, in PS5, I'm number four in RP. 92% win percentage, number eight in points, number six in points per game. The two clubs I play on are number 13 and 16. And one of those clubs finished number eight in the Elite Cup playoffs. I hope that's a good enough resume for you. All right, so let's dive into those builds and I wanna preface, I am building this to play against human goalies. So before you get down into the comments and say the wrist shot, accuracy, and power, everything like that is too low, I simply don't believe you need that to beat human goalies. So the 5-9 Playmaker, what I've been using dominantly in Season 2 so far. 5-9, 179. Elite Edges, Close Quarters, Stick Em Up. Boost our Discipline Stick and IQ. You can see we got that 91 speed, the 91 acceleration. We are a fast little bugger out there. The issue with the build is you will get bumped off the puck very easily if you do not effectively use Elite Edges. Next, we are looking at a big boy two-way forward. We are 6'4", 220. No contest. Quick pick, unstoppable force. Our boosts are core balance and steady hands. This is a build that I started using in sixes recently. I grew tired of getting hit down by all those big defensemen always stepping up on me on the blue line. This is the solution. You're looking at 86 balance, 91 puck control. It is very difficult to bump you off the puck, especially with unstoppable force when you want to drive that net. And hey, if they do bump you off the puck, you've got no contest in the boards. If your team needs that puck possession guy in those corners to be able to cycle the puck around, you're the guy now. Next, we're looking at the patented Deport 24 Power Forward. He is my teammate on the Puppies. I believe he's like number four in points per game, and he slays it with this build. So it pairs really nicely with the Playmaker build that I mentioned earlier. Perks on this class, you're good down low, you're good up high, you can hit, what else could you want? Well, you could want the speed. I do notice that sometimes it falls a little behind on speed, so you have to be defensively minded for this class to really work. The only changes that I'd make for six is you gotta bump up that discipline, but it should be strong there as well. So a fun build build is this grinder. So one of the tougher strategies that we've come across in sixes is tips. I play goalie in sixes and it feels like it's the only time I'm truly powerless in what can result in the play. So that means that this build completely focused on tipping is broken. If you can cycle the puck, get this guy in front of the net and get one of your defensemen to just get the shot to the net, chances are he's tipping it. Chances are it's going in. This is almost better than a breakaway. All right, that may have been an exaggeration, but my point is, is that this is incredibly strong. It's something that's difficult to stop as a defenseman and as a goalie, and your team needs to focus to shut it down. Your team also needs to focus to make it work. So if you wanna make this work, talk to your teammates, get this into the game plan, and let me know how it works for you. Last, but definitely not least, because it's probably the most important position on the ice, whether you want to admit to it or not, the goalie. I didn't make any goalie builds in the last video. I felt like I wasn't playing enough games. I got enough games under my belt now. I feel comfortable to put this out. And without diving too deep into all my thoughts and the mechanics of playing goalie, I can summarize it with this. Goalie is underpowered. It comes from someone who's played this game for 12 years. I love playing player. I love playing goalie. Goalies are at a huge disadvantage playing this game. So I understand this build might not solve every little problem, but I think it's the best you're going to get. My biggest piece of advice to goalies using this build, please react with butterfly to shots. If you don't, you don't know if you're gonna get that animation. You don't know if it's just gonna slide through your five hole. Combat it, do the best you can. If you're not, you're already at a disadvantage in this game playing goalie. You're only putting yourself further back by not reacting to it. If you guys are looking for more of my thoughts on goalie tips and everything, let me know down in the comments. I'd gladly put something together for you guys. We are running at 6'5", as tall as you can go, 204. Running last stand, post to post, and no timer. Boosts are expert glove high and vision stick high. So I took heavily away in the five hole in the passing categories. Added those all back into just animation based stats. We've got our glove high and stick high at 95. 
it's going to be really tough to get that any higher we've got the rebound control up a little bit we got that vision higher to combat that broken build mentioned earlier with the grinder and the tipping and we also took heavily away from the poke check i think it's a garbage attribute to be using so this is what i believe to be the best goalie build that i have used i've tried many different ones through drop-ins i won a we got game tournament with this build but we should all know that when it comes to playing goalie it's not dominantly the build it's your strategy it's how you're gonna play so that's gonna be a wrap on another builds video thank you so much for watching this i hope these builds help you if they do please let me know down in the comments how well you do with them also before you go make sure you check out this video to see what these builds did to the number one player in nhl 21 i think he got mad reminder follow me on twitch sub to me on youtube like this video if you're digging what you're seeing and i'll see you guys next time